Dajjal sees with his left eye. He is blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grip. Can you imagine the number of questions are going to come now? <laughs> the doctor said. Between his eyes on his forehead, he's written the word kafir. And every mu'min will be able to read it. Whether he is katib, literate, or ghayru katib, illiterate. I leave that symbol with you. Back to the slaughter. We say that the Arabs are being prepared for a great slaughter. Is there anything else beside that vision of Ibrahim alayhi salam to support this thesis? Yes, there is. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam was asleep at the home of his wife Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha. And he woke up from his sleep when the hadith is located in Sahih Bukhari in several different versions from several different sources companions. So we say it is mutawatir. He woke up from his sleep. What he had seen in his sleep, also a vision like Ibrahim alayhi salam, was so terrible, so terrible, that his face was red, flushed, red. It has to be something terrible for the Prophet of Allah to wake up with his face all red, flushed red. What did he see? He woke up and he spoke these memorable lines. He said, Wailul Arab Min Sharrin Qadik Taraba. Woe unto the Arabs because of an evil. Shab, an evil. It can't be an ordinary evil for his face to be so flushed red. It has to be a very great evil, which is now close. And then he raised his hands like this and he said, Today. <coughs> Today means this day or 1000 years from now. Where has reason fled? He said, Today. A hole has been made in the radam. He didn't use the word sad, he used the word radam. Surah Al-Kaf has both the words. 